In this video, we'll introduce you to Walker Controller as one possible tool to use for transcribing in chat. Walker Controller makes the function keys on your keyboard behave like play, rewind, and fast forward buttons. It also allows for several other features, such as controlling the length of the segment that will play while you're transcribing, slowing down the playback or speeding it up, and also automatically repeating segments. So here's a chat file with the necessary header tiers. We have a participant and an investigator, and we have a video file called example. Now always make sure the video file you're using is in the same folder as the chat file you're creating. To get started with Walker Controller, in the clan menu, go to Windows and select Walker Controller. In the Walker Controller box, click on Open Media. Now you need to find and select your media file. In this case, it's example.m4v. Before we click on it, though, just a few quick notes. Although the extension for this video file reads M4V, it's actually in MP4 format, which is the best format for video. We end up converting all earlier formats to MP4 when we put videos into the database. However, Walker Controller can still play other formats, such as MPEG and AVI. Also, one more note. This video looks better in reality than it does in this movie. But okay, let's go ahead and select this video. You can double click on it, or you can single click on it, and then go down to the bottom here and click Open File. So now we have the video ready, and we can customize the settings in the Walker Controller window. The walk length here is set to 2000. That means 2000 milliseconds will play each time you press the F8 key. If you want a longer segment, you can change this just by entering a larger number like this. And now the automatic segment length will be 4000 milliseconds. But I'm going to put it back to 2000 for now. The loop number is set to 1 which means that the 2000 millisecond segment will just play through once. If you set the loop number to 2 or 3, the 2000 millisecond segment will automatically play two or three times in a row. The backspace option is at 0. This determines how many milliseconds you want the recording to back up before it automatically plays a new segment. You can change this setting also and, for example, try a 500 millisecond backspace and see how that works for you. Let's leave walk pause length at zero. This determines the pause between loops and segments, but it only applies to audio, not video files. Playback speed is self-explanatory. It can be helpful to slow this down even a bit to 95% sometimes for some speakers. But again, we'll leave that at 100 for now. Let's look at the key bindings at the bottom of the controller window. The F6 function key on your keyboard starts and stops the video if the transcript has not yet been linked to the video. If your file is linked and has bullets, then F6 will just play the current bullet. F7 will jump back a step. It will basically rewind in 2000 millisecond segments each time you press it. The F8 function key will play just one step, in this case, the 2000 millisecond segment where you are in the video. F9 will jump to the next 2000 millisecond segment. So watch the counter over here on the video as I press those different function keys. First, I'll press F8 to play the segment where we are. Kind of the story of the picture. I'll press F8 again, and it will play the same 2000 millisecond segment. Kind of the story of the picture. Now I'll press F9, and it will play the next 2000 millisecond segment. And then I'm going to have you go first this time, okay? 
and now we're up to 4,000 here on the counter. If I press F9 again, we'll hear the next 2,000 millisecond segment. Okay, all right, so here's the picture. So now we're at 6,000. If I press F8, I'll get the same segment we just heard. Okay, all right, so here's the picture. If I press F7, we'll jump back 2,000 milliseconds and hear that previous segment. And then I'm gonna have you go first this time, okay? And if I press F7 again, we'll jump back another 2,000 milliseconds. Kind of the story of the picture. If I press F6, the video will just play continuously until I stop it by pressing F6 again. Kind of the story of the picture. And then I'm going to have you go first this time, okay? okay. All right, so here's the picture. So I'd encourage you to play around with some of these settings and see how Walker Controller works. In the next video, we'll actually do some transcribing with Walker Controller.